Hi and welcome to SLTV and it's Peter Toy and Julian Bailey with your story behind the Sega Bowser. And the biggest story of this transfer window has been the story of Knowledge Masona, or I should say the story that didn't happen. Now the question is, should Kaiser Chiefs have broken the bank to sign Knowledge Masona? Julian, what do you reckon? I think Kaiser Chiefs did all they could uh, with Knowledge Masona. Perhaps they could have stretch it a little bit more but what, what are your opinions on I don't think Julian that they stretch it at all they basically as far as we can tell they, they knew what uh, knowledge is going to cost him from the very start um, they knew the numbers that um, that uh, often I wanted I think when they finally had a proper look at him they, they went ooh this is going to cost us a lot of money but besides that shouldn't a club like that be paying big money the Chiefs will then turn around and say they did sign Magadi they did sign Makocho and Tembu but they were, they were they were freeze yeah, not for sure. They, they all say that they did bring players in to, to sort of uh, fill the gaps that were in their squad. And there were plenty of gaps and we, as we can see now, they still are with Mpela's injury as well. The Masona deal is what they wanted. The Masona deal is what the fans wanted. It's the Masona deal is what the Chiefs as a club wanted. And now that's gone. And the feeling is, uh, what message you say to the, to the fans and the rest of the league when, when you miss out on, on your marquee signing? It, it seems as though uh, Chiefs are saying, this is as far as we're prepared to go to sign Musona. It doesn't seem as if they value him more than what they've uh, set out to pay. So, where does that leave Chiefs right now? Obviously, they are thin up front. They need to sign a striker and he needs to be a name. He needs to be somebody they're pretty certain that's going to be successful. And who's out there, uh, um, Julian? Well, at the moment, uh, it looks like only Kone at the moment, but also the, we reported in the paper that Alaj Juf has uh, been Good in point. contact. Yeah. He's available, proven striker, as you said. I mean, he's played at Liverpool and big, big clubs. He's played in World Cups. So he's a massive, massive name, and perhaps he could come and leave his mark on the PSL. If he's still got his legs, which I think he has, he's uh, training at, at Blackpool right now, I believe. Um, the Sea crew broke that story. Um, if he's got the legs, he will cost big money. It may even cost more than the sign but let's see. What's the space? We'll be reporting in.